Hello there everyone, it's Nick Nevin, the Witch of Seacliff, and I have a crystal ball tarot card and charm reading for the month of September for Earth signs. So if you are Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, this reading is for you. So let me just move up here. And I'll start with the crystal ball first. It's been warming up for a few minutes. And I read... I read with my hands, uh, with feeling. I also see images that you might not see. I also hear with my clear audience from spirit, telepathically. So this is how I do my readings in case you've never been here before. So, whoa, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the month of September. For 2017, what does this month have in store? Ooh. Very interesting energy here. I see a heart. I see a heart opening, like bursting into flames, a heart. And I see also an angel, an angel of protection. So I feel that the energy surrounding September, it's your time, it's your month, um, where you start to feel your own true core being. This is very exciting for the Earth signs. Um, it's been a difficult year um, for Earth because they are moving from a very... Um, stable place, moving into um, new worlds, if you will, um, new ventures. Everything is new this year. It's new to you, new creativity, feeling um, your energy very strongly, feeling magical energy strongly. Um, yeah, I feel a lot of magic here, a lot of magical energy. And if you don't do magic, you're not a witch. It's, it doesn't have to necessarily mean that type of magic. It means you're manifesting, manifesting your desires. And this is almost like for the first time in your life, you are actually trusting, totally trusting the universe and trusting your ability. And it's very, very powerful energy moving through the earth signs, especially Virgo. Um, by the way, Virgos make very powerful witches. I don't know why, but many of the witches that I've met have been Virgo. And they're usually quite strong, quite strong in divination as well. Um, but this is strong for all of the earth signs, this energy, this sort of magical manifestation energy happening. It's really wonderful to see. I'm very happy for all of you. Let's see what else is going on here. There's this sort of... Um, dreaminess now for the the earth signs um imagination flowing ideas and energy flowing very strongly um you have a lot of creative ideas right now your creativity is strong right now even if it's um creatively working in a job um you just have new ideas and new visions for yourself and a new plan for yourself and you're moving forward towards that, even if you're not sure exactly what it is. Um, Earth signs love to know exactly what's going to happen, step-by-step -step plan. Um, you are actually going um, forward without knowing the plan. And you're just taking it step-by-step -step in that methodical way. You're going step-by-step -step feeling almost as if you're feeling the ground for energy, and where do I go next? Um, this feels good, I'm gonna go for it there. So you're using very intuitive psychic sensing this month of September, which is really wonderful to see. And if you are in the arts, this is the perfect time 
um, for creating um, masterpieces, for creating um, writing, creating beautiful masterpieces of work. It's like the angels are on your side and um, the universe is on your side right now. And you, f I see you in a circle of protection, being divinely guided and protected at this point in time. And I feel this is going to go throughout um, the entire fall, that you feel this energy and that you have this power. So that's what I'm getting from the crystal ball for earthy, earthy energy. If you are um, an earth moon sign or rising ascendant sign, um, this reading is also for you. So you can always check out your other um, signs in your chart. If you feel more that you are a, another, you're more your rising or moon sign, you can definitely check out the other readings and see um, how those fit with you as well. Now let's go over to the tarot cards. And I want to bring some candlelight over here because it's a little dark. Now I already, um, I already pulled out a uh, 10 card spread for you all because it just takes too long to shuffle in front of you. Um, but I didn't really look into too much detail. I just gave it a look over to see what was going on. But I didn't give it too much um, thought. So let me just take a look here. I'm using the Golden Botticelli deck. And it's a really beautiful deck. I love all the Golden decks. They're wonderful. Um, this is one of my favorite decks. Okay, so beautiful. The lovers is where you are right now. The lovers card in a place of being centered and balanced. And in this deck, especially, it's as if you were winging your way forward, moving forward. And um, you are in a very good ground. You have the three of cups that you are standing upon. So others are supporting you now. Others want to see you succeed now. Others are helping you. So this is a very strong, supportive energy sign. That the people around you um, are actually wishing you well. They're wishing you well. And that this is a beautiful reading, actually. You also have coming in your recent past is the full card, which is all about new beginnings. So it is about walking out um, into the unknown without having a lot of guidance um, standing, um, without having a lot of information, you're moving forward. Oops, I forgot to tell you about your crossing card, which is really amazing. You have the sun crossing you, the sun. Most beautiful card in the deck, I feel, because it's like a sunflower, a sunflower's bright, positive. Even the leaves on sunflowers are in the shape of hearts. So it's beautiful sun energy, positive energy, crossing your signs right now, the earth signs right now. Beautiful, positive energy coming into your own, feeling strong and steady, even if you don't know exactly um, where the road will lead. You're willing to take a chance you're willing to go forward. And where are you going? Well, we have the, um, what is this? This is the, um, uh, this is the Knight of Cups. So there's an offering here. There's messages coming through regarding emotional issues, regarding creative issues. This can be proposals. This can be marriage proposals. It can mean uh, proposals of new ideas, proposals giving you a new job, giving, you know, people offering you things now. So there's offerings to be taken. And what you're moving towards uh, is the Ten of Pentacles. This is an amazing spread here, boys and girls. This is beautiful. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, it's, it's the palace the dream home. But this can be, you know, you buying a home, finally getting your dream home. It can also be 
feeling at home and certain in your life, having um, less money troubles, having wealth, um, coming into a good job, being in a good home, being in a good spot right now in your life. It can be emotional, this card as well, because the, um, the Knight of Cups is there. So it could just be feeling um, at home in your own skin. But it is a money card. It is a, a card of money, of lots of money. So if you've been looking for a job or a home, now's the time to jump on it. And it looks like you are moving forward to that. You are on the new beginning, moving forward to that new dream home, to that new job, to that new way of feeling and being. And you do have the sun crossing you for positive. Now, you yourself, the card for self here, is the Eight of Wands. So there's a bit of trepidation on your part, uh, trepidation that you, you're you feeling, um, yeah, you're not, you don't have an exact plan. You're not sure of every step, but you're willing to sacrifice now. And you're going out, the environment is very good for you. You're moving out on your own, on your own two feet. You're feeling more independent and strong. You could have assistance. Um, there is assistance from other people. Um, this is the Queen of Swords. So if there is um, knowledge you need, or if there's a bank loan you need, this Queen of Swords is willing to give it to you. Um, she's willing to also impart knowledge for you, for your benefit. And then your outcome card is really beautiful as well. It's the um, it's the star. In this deck, it's called the stars. And that's meeting your destiny. I'm taking hold of your destiny right now. And I'm going to just throw out... I have charms over here in the box. I'm going to throw out a few charms just for a little added extra fun. Oops. We had a marble that rolled over. Okay, so... Uh, we have, what is this? This is a blue sort of iridescent marble here. Blue emotions. Love is here. Uh, this gold, um, this is a crystal heart. So love opening up, like I said, with the crystal ball, love opening up. And the dancer, you're opening up to a new life where you're dancing, you're feeling your heart, you're feeling your worth, you're showing your abilities. This could be about creative talents coming to the forefront. You have the silver spoon, you're protected. You could be coming into wealth with the silver spoon in your mouth. Um, this little silver and turquoise bunny here is um, prolific. Things coming to life, an abundance of things. There's also the spider. This is a black spider. So you're creating a web for yourself for this beautiful cycle to continue. You're in very much creative mode in your life right now. Very creative time. And your creations are very much protected. And then we have like this moon and star charm. So I feel like it is along with the star like destiny has finally come to pass for the earth signs. Destiny's coming. The things that you desire, the the love that you desire, the career you desire, the artistic ability coming to the forefront, and many, many ideas, many creations, and you're very prolific. You are creating ideas for yourself, you're, um, new ideas for others. You're creating the life that you desire, you're manifesting. And the silver spoon is having, you know, money, wealth, um, having a silver tongue at this time too, being able to state what you feel and you're finally allowing feelings to be shown. You're more open with the blue marble to show your true self, your true feelings, your true loves, in life and share it with the world share it with others and that only helps all of us when you do so all of you capricorns virgos and taurians i hope you enjoyed the reading and have a great september everyone bye bye